What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be doing a review of my Red Wing 1412 insulated work boots. These boots are 8 inch high boots. They have a 400 gram insulation lining. They also are Gore-Tex lined. These are non-steel toe. But as you can see, I did apply tough toe to them. They are made in America. Gore-Tex line boots. Absolutely wonderful boots. Made in the USA. I don't know why it won't zoom there, but focus, focus, focus. Anyway, I can't get the camera to focus. But anyway, they're made in America. Uh, this particular pair of boots is five years old. This pair was built in 2011. If I remember correctly, this pair was built in 08. Yes. So this pair is 08. So this pair is eight years old. This pair is five. Um, as you can see, they are nutmeg ebb tide leather, really soft leather. They break in great. They conform to your toes well. The Aztec Super Sole 2.0 is an amazing sole. It is absolutely the most comfortable boot I've ever worn in my life. Um, with the Gore-Tex insulation or the Gore-Tex lining, I've never had a wet foot with these boots. And the reason I have two pair is when I would send these off to be resold by Red Wing, which they can be done, so these are these are a direct attach welt style boot sole. So when I would send a pair off to be resold, I would just grab another pair. And then, you know, I'd get a couple years out of that pair. I grabbed the pair that I got back from resoling. I just had one pair of these resold recently in the last year or so. I can't remember what pair it was, but one of them was just resold. And what will happen is when you start wearing these boots, you'll start seeing the wear indicator of the sole. It will kind of go clearish. Is this is a dual density urethane sole so you'll be able to see through like this part of the sole the outer part will go clear and kind of have a haze instead of being this black I think this was the pair that needed resole this was not the one that was just done as you can see it's a little thin there but if you're a technician that works mostly on concrete or in houses is like a AC HVAC guy or a plumber or something similar to that or even an auto mechanic these boots are absolutely great very warm in the winter um, you do get used to the warmth in the summer the Gore-Tex lining is amazing they like I said for these boots, boots being as old as they are they're still in really good shape I took care of my boots I oiled them monthly with Red Wing Nature Seal. And if my company had not changed my safety policies, I would still be wearing these boots. However, with no steel toe, I mean, they're, you know, they're soft toe boot. And they're not steel toe. The tough toe really doesn't give you any protection from falling objects. All it does is keep the toe of the boot from scraping up. The only thing I've really had to replace on a regular basis on these, and they usually do it when I get my resoles done, is the insole. So Red Wing will give you free laces for life on the boot. Sorry, cat was in the way there. Um, and they will oil them whenever you want. They will also give you free insoles or replacement insoles once you have a resole done on the boot. And it costs about a hundred bucks to have them resold. These boots retail for about three hundred and twenty a pair. So 
you know, for a hundred bucks every couple of years, you basically get a brand new boot. As long as you don't tear up the leather part. I mean, that's why it's important to keep your leather in good shape. Yeah, this was the ones that were just recently resold. So you got to keep your leather in good shape. As you can see, this one's starting to crack. It's still waterproof. I, I mean, I haven't worn these boots in over a year. So I, I did oil them up before I stuck them in the closet. But all in all, they're really great boots, and I can't complain at all. Made in America. Let's see if I can find where it says that. If I get the camera to focus. Maybe not. I don't know why the camera will not focus. Oh well. It's a cheap phone camera. <laughs> it's my cell phone camera. That's why it won't focus. I'm not like some of the fancy YouTubers and have dedicated cameras and microphones and all that stuff. I'm just a regular old amateur guy just doing a boot review. I do. I really like the boots. Um, like I said, if it was not for my company's safety policies changing, I would still be wearing them. I mean, they are 8-inch high boots, nutmeg ebb-tide leather, 400 grams of Thinsulate, Gore-Tex lined, Aztec Super Soul 2.0 with a fiberglass shank. They are soft toe, but they're just absolutely wonderful boots. <laughs> like I said, I, I mean, they're still even, even after they broke into my foot, you can see they just break in nice and they're just still so soft. Just still such soft leather with them. A lot different than the current model I'm wearing which I've done reviews on those those are the 2292's guys let me know if you have any questions about these boots I'll be uh, happy to answer them for you I've had these this particular style of boot for 20 years and then all of a sudden safety regulations change and I gotta wear a different style but you know it is what it is things change thanks guys and have a wonderful day